Thank you so much for joining us for another awesome episode of Bioenergetics Beat. I'm Heather Gray, a functional diagnostic nutrition practitioner and certified bioenergetic practitioner. And this episode was brought to you today by Nikki, Unleash the Wellness Within. It's a non-invasive, easily affordable, and highly effective approach to optimize wellness. It's a wearable device that puts frequency better based life in your hands and on your wrist. Make sure to stick around till the very, very end. Well, one, you're not going to want to miss one second of this amazing guest's talk, but you're, we always, every episode have a giveaway. You get your chance to win a Nikki. So don't, don't miss out. Stick around till the very end. Um, today's special guest, we have Jen Payer. Let's welcome Jen to the show. So excited. She's a dear friend of mine, colleague, and she's just doing amazing, brilliant things. And today we're talking about um, plant stem cell therapy and, uh, you know, all the wonders and and miracles that these little plants are, you know, plants and, and frequencies and energies are like some of my favorite topics to talk about, right? Because we're getting back down to the basics and it's amazing what can happen when we give our body the basics. So Jen, welcome. First off, thank you. I'm so excited to be here with you, Heather. Yay. Tell me, made it. I know, right? This was a little while in the making. Um, yes, there's still some of that brain fog. I had to cancel on her a few times because I was undiagnosed sleep apnea, uh, not getting enough oxygen to the brain. It's amazing. <laughs> I, I can't wait till I get a CPAP machine and, and start getting some, some good night's sleep. It'll be uh, incredible how, how little I, I lose words, but Jen, tell us, how did you get into plant stem cells? I'm like, what is, you know, usually people have a story when they're in the alternative world. So I would love to hear a little bit about yeah. you and how you got started. Yeah, we all have a story, right? So I always say that I didn't find the plant stem cells, they found me. And that is indicative of the power of these, um, these beautiful plant remedies. So I had been on the other side of a pretty severe cancer diagnosis. And I was three years out from my initial diagnosis and all of a sudden my markers, my cancer markers were going up and they were out of the high end of the range, just barely. Um, and uh, that is usually indicative of a recurrence coming on. And I was pretty clear within my own sense of self that, nope, I'm not going through this again. That part of my story is complete. And um, I was actually visiting a friend and her husband was a chiropractor and he came out one day with this tincture and just in conversation said, you know, hey, this tincture has saved a lot of my patients' lives. And I'm like, oh, that's great. What is it? And as soon as he said embryonic plant stem cells, I literally had goosebumps all over my body. And I felt like I'd been struck by lightning is the best way. I became a dog with a bone. I looked at him and I said, oh my God, what are these? I need to know about these. How can I find out more? Right. I just became like relentless because there was some inner knowing in me that knew there was something powerful in this remedy that I had never heard of. I didn't have a clue what it was. Um, and so he shared, there was a training coming up three months from that date, but it was for doctors and I'm not a doctor. Um, and then he kind of looked at me and he said, ah, but you know, you're a holistic health practitioner. Why don't you just call them and see if you can get into the class? And so, so I did. Um, it's anybody who has a bone in their mouth, it's like relentless about something. And three months later, I flew to Hawaii and I went to a week long training about plant stem cells, everything about the plant stem cells, what they are, how they work, why they work. Um, and on the last day of the training, the, the guy who was teaching the class, who was the owner of a company called PSC Distribution, um, he said, and I'm going to be selling the company. And boom, there came that wave and that rush of energy, goosebumps on my body. And again, I had this knowing, I said, okay, what the heck is going on here? And what was strange about the class, and I've shared this before, is there was not a ex single, single experiential. So typically when you go to a class that's about product or about a new type of remedy, they have samples there where you can try it and you can experience it. And I'm a super experiential learner. So I went through an entire week class to learn about them from my head, but I had no you know, big heart connection other than this deep knowing that I needed to know more about them. And so I got to the airport and I called my husband and I was a prior banker, um, which set me up to be able to do this. But I called my husband. And I said, guess what? We're going to be buying a plant stem cell company. Makes no <laughs> sense. None of this makes sense. I'm an ex-banker. I like I, you know, I had studied essential oils for years. So we knew a lot about the chemical constituents and plants and why they did what they did. Um, and so fast forward, I came home and I meditated for like a month. I'm like, what the heck does this mean? Um, and why did these plants find me? Um, because I really do feel like they found me and I feel like I'm their steward or their mother in many ways. 
um, which is a very strange way to position it. But then I started working with this man and two months later, I was very clear, all of my markers changed. So I had, you know, I'm a, I'm an energetic and intuitive, but I also like trust, but verify. And so I needed to know the science. And so when I went and did my blood work and all my markers were back in the low normal range, I went, okay, something has drastically changed in my body. And so then I had like the scientific evidence that I was onto something. And in my meditation, all I kept seeing is light coming into my body and cleaning stuff out that wasn't supposed to be there and um, turning things on that had turned off in my body. And so that began my journey with these beautiful plant remedies. That's absolutely incredible. It sounds a lot like my journey with, with Nikki here, because I, you know, entrepreneurs don't go asking to work for other people. And after I had the founder of Nikki on my podcast, by the end of the podcast, I was like, I don't know how or where you can put me, but I need to be a part of this, right? Like it was just this, like this, ah, this, I have to be involved. Like, it, and you can't shut it off, right? It's you incredible. can't turn it off. Exactly. You can't. It, and it just keeps getting louder the more that you try to get it to be quiet. And so then two months later, they came back and they're like, how about being a podcast host for us? And I was like, brilliant. But yeah, um, that's absolutely incredible. And so we're kind of tying this with immune, you know, the immune f immune frequency on the Nikki, because it sounds like that's really what the plant stem cells really kind of helped your body do is is help booster your immune system. So put all the cancer markers back in check, correct? Absolutely. And get rid of the toxins that were in the way. Absolutely yeah. amazing. Man, that is such an incredible story. I, uh, I'm, I'm friends with you and I never even heard that before. So I'm still like, I'm like, what? That's incredible. Um, right now is a great place. We're going to take a quick pause for a break. Um, okay. don't go anywhere folks. Like I said, you're going to want to listen to the very end to find out how you can win your very own Nikki and, uh, stay tuned. We'll be right back. There's a new word for wellness. Nikki. Nikki, the bioenergetic wearable designed to help you feel better and perform better. Other wearables just track how you're doing. Nikki is about helping you do better. Nikki takes bioenergetic frequency science to a new level and onto your wrist. Nikki technology carries frequencies into the body to organize and optimize the cellular network the trillions of cells that communicate by light and frequencies to keep us alive and feeling our best. Physical and mental trauma can upset cellular communication and Nikki is designed to help restore it. Touch the Nikki screen to choose the frequency you want for what you want to do and how you want to feel. Low energy? Touch energy for a boost. Stressed out? Stress and anxiety is to calm you down. Aches and pains? Choose Nikki Pain. Nikki has frequency sets intended to fight allergies, strengthen immunity, and keep viruses and bacteria at bay. If you're going on a trip and want to arrive fresh and ready to enjoy your vacation, touch travel. And if you want to wake up ready to go, Nikki Nighttime is for overcoming daytime trauma while you sleep. Every Nikki comes loaded with a full inventory of frequency sets, including pain, energy, travel, immune, stress and anxiety, viruses and bacteria, allergies, insomnia, daytime bundles, nighttime bundles. Nikki puts a personal wellness center in your hands and on your wrist. Be better. Do better. We are Nikki.com. Awesome. Welcome every back, back everybody. I'm a little tongue tied today. Uh -huh. uh, so the title today is called Hidden in Plain Sight, the Power of Plant Stem Cell Therapy. So let's dive deeper into what is plant stem cells? How do they work? You know, all the fun stuff, because until you, you know, I only thought that stem cells came from, you know, embryos, like living creature embryos, like, you know, animals, not plants per se. So I'm right. curious about the whole plant stem cell stuff. So yeah, enlighten. Yeah. Up. Yeah. There is a whole world about plants. Um, and I just recently read an article that talked about, you know, plants have more senses than human beings. They communicate, they don't have eyes, they don't have ears, but they can see and they can hear. And so 
that's a whole nother, um, nother journey, but plant stem cells come from the bud of the plant. And that bud only happens in the springtime when we are coming in and the buds are growing on the trees. So most of them come from some type of tree. There are others that come from bushes, but it's mostly from the trees. It's the buds, the rootlets. So like on a dandelion plant, those little roots that are the little hairs that are there, um, the young shoots from a plant as they're coming off but all of them are the new growth on the plant. And in that stage of the plant's evolution, if you will, they contain plant stem cells, which is an undifferentiated part of the plant. So it's the part that is um, either not a leaf or the bark or a flower or anything like that. So they're just like human stem cells, but they come from the plants and they work in the same way. So plants are very, very compatible. I have a great article from 2018, a research article that says, that plant stem cells may be among the most, you know, brilliant and um, capable aspects to the humans uh, because of what they do, because of boosting our own stem cells. But that new growth contains something called juvenile phytohormones. So think about baby hormones. And what those hormones do is they clean up the body. They're known as drainers, which I call that a step beyond detoxification because they are literally draining toxins from the cells, the tissue, and the organs. Um, and then they revitalize the organs. So if our organs are unhealthy, we're unhealthy, period. Um, and then what they do is they revitalize our cells. So they revitalize the mitochondria, and they bring the communication network of the body back online. And that is, you know, when I look back at my own personal journey, that's exactly what I went through. I was on the other side of cancer, which is an immune system issue, right? We know that. Um, but I still was haggard. I was taking 120 supplements a day. I had followed Gerson therapy, medical medium. I mean, you name it. I did it. I did everything. I, I threw everything in my toolbox at this thing. Um, and so I was very disappointed when my markers were going up because I'm thinking I'm eating healthy. I'm working out. I'm taking CoQ10 and quercetin and turmeric and all the great things. But because I still had this toxic load in my body, I couldn't absorb it. So nothing was coming into my immune system to boost it. And that's where the plant stem cells, that drainage capability was able to pull those toxins out. And now my eyes are brighter. I look younger. I, I feel like I'm 30. I'm nowhere near 30. Um, <laughs> and it's not just I'm the feeling... filter folks. I can, I can testify like in person, she is drop dead gorgeous with beautiful oh. skin. And no, I know how old she is and she doesn't yes. look anywhere near her age. So. Yeah, I have that vitality back. So I've got the brightness in my eyes. And the way that I describe it in layman's terms is you look at a newborn baby, right? A newborn baby, they just got this vitality about them. They're full of life. Their eyes are bright. Their skin is soft and supple because they haven't been weathered by life, right? They're just coming in with this brightness. And that's what the these, you know, baby buds are on the plant. It's just pure vitality coming into the body. Um, and, you know, one of the very, very unique qualities about them is they've got the, the energetics of a homeopathic remedy, and then they also have the physiologic. So they have the biologic aspect on the body, like an adult herb. So they, they span that spectrum of energy and biology, which no other plant remedy has that. So it's a very, very unique quality of these plant buds. See, and that's what I absolutely love about this type of work, right? Because so, especially in the Lyme world, like some folks are tracing, chasing these very expensive, ridiculously crazy, outrageous treatments, right? And like I said, we've got something as simple as energetic work, uh, you know, plant stem cells that can really, really, you know, tip the, the scales in the opposite direction because we're getting back down to the foundation. We're giving our body how it communicates and what it needs to do its job properly. It's, it's incredible what happens when we do that for the body. The body goes, Oh, right. I know what I'm Finally. Doing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You yeah. know, so how I, but a lot of times people dismiss it, right? You're like a little tincture, you know, you, I know your tinctures aren't like crazy expensive, right? Same thing with this product. Like I dismissed it at first because of how, how inexpensive it was. I was like, there's no way it works. How often do you, uh, do you find that like the skepticism with, with people? Oh, all, all the time. And you know, it's fascinating because I went to a four-year energy healing school. So energy is my thing and I, it's my jam. And I love that, that you, you know, it's your jam too, but you know, it's funny when we are faced with a health crisis, we immediately default to the physical, 
Yep. And I know through my training and my own innate knowing and intuition that when we get sick, it starts in our, in our energy field. It goes through the emotional body, then the mental body. So what we think, what we feel, our energy. And then when it doesn't get resolved in those other realms, it lands on the physical body. And yet when we get sick, we immediately go, okay, what can I take? What can I do? And then we go to the physical. And that's why like, we have to remember the energetics because we are energy beings, period. We may not seem like it because we don't see it, but we absolutely feel it. And we may be aware of it and we may not, but I know when I'm around a 5G tower, man, I feel it immediately. When I'm around somebody who has negative energy, energy is contagious. You feel it immediately. You may not be able to name it if you're not aware of it, but it's affecting us whether we're aware of it or not. And so that energetic piece is so important. It's so important for our healing. It's so funny because like functional practitioners, you know, it's a, it's a, Western medicine's amazing. If you get into a car accident, you need to get put back together, right? Don't get me wrong. Nothing better than that. And then functional medicine came along and they're like, we do the root cause, you know, blah, 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 which was great because they did get a little step closer to the, than just throwing band-aids at symptoms. But a lot of times they were just trading prescription pills for supplements, right? right. And still not yeah. getting through the root cause. And I really, I'm a big believer that bioenergetics are really the root cause of what you get in there. Because if we're not balanced if we're not coherent within our own electromagnetic field, you know, our brain to our heart, from our heart to other things, and, you know, in sync with the earth's electromagnetic field and, you know, other uh, things like absolutely. all the best supplements in the world aren't, you know, the best diet, the best, you know, fill in the blank, aren't going to work to its full capacity until you address the bioenergetic field. For sure. hundred percent. Um, so tell us some, some stories of things that you've seen, uh, these little plant miracles, you know, work for, you know, what, what, I know you have like different formulations out there. So what are some of the things that these, these guys can do? Yeah. So each plant has an affinity to a certain organ. Um, mm -hmm. you have a plant like rosemary, artichoke, milk thistle, right? Those are your known plants that really support the liver. So, um, you know, I have so many anecdotal stories, but so many testimonials from people. Brain fog is something I see a lot with people. There are two really great plants that we use, maidenhair tree, which is ginkgo biloba in this bud form. And then linden tree comes from the silver linden tree. Those two together, you know, I know when I went through my treatment, although I didn't do Western, I mean, I was overloaded because I was throwing everything at my body. I was doing high dose vitamin C, glutathione, DMSO, you name it. I was doing it. And I still had a lot of brain fog. And, um, I, you know, I came from a razor sharp memory and all of a sudden I was having trouble recalling words. All that came back taking those two plants. And so I use those a lot. And again, there's a lot of brain fog going on right now um, in the world. Uh, there's a lot of toxicity just period in the body. Um, you know, whether you believe in chemtrails or not, there's just a lot of ick in our food, our water system and our air. Um, you know, I travel a lot, so I'm taking in jet fuel and fumes and radiation and all that. So they are wonderful to clean up the body. We've got something called total body detox, which just pulls everything out and it works on every organ in the body. Um, so those are some great things, but I also use them in an acute way. If somebody's having a histamine reaction, they are terrific to help with anaphylaxis issues, um, with, you know, rashes that happen quickly. They work very, very quickly. Um, and that's what I love about it is we have so many different types of practitioners from acupuncturists to homeopath to chiropractors, to functional medicine, integrative, and they all use them in the way that they practice. So I love that, that there isn't one way to do them. And the other thing that I love about them is you can use them with supplements and you can use them with pharmaceuticals. They're super, super gentle. So it's almost like they play a role in the cleanup process and the rejuvenation process in the body. But I don't believe there's ever any one thing that does everything that we need. I think it's a, it's a a uh, culmination of many things and it's a journey, right? There isn't just a boom, it's cleaned up and done. Um, and so I love that. Oh, absolutely. So what are some of the particular formulas that kind of help with boosting the immune? Yeah, so we actually have um, complexes, which are groupings of plants, um, immune health and be healthy or two that are super popular in the wintertime, obviously. And then we have about 110 single plants 
Um, and those, you know, may require a little bit more knowledge about herbal therapies and things like that, but something like blackthorn, blackcurrant are phenomenal dog rose. There's so much vitamin C in dog rose and in blackcurrant that it could be your source of vitamin C instead of taking a vitamin C supplement. And I found that out by accident because I actually had a niacin flush. I had a little bit of black currant in a bottle. I'm like, oh, you know, it's fine. You, you really can't overdose. And then I took some, um, some uh, niacin and boy, I just broke out completely red. And I went, oh, okay, there's a lot of vitamin C in there. And I started doing research and sure enough, oh, a lot funny. of vitamin C. So, so a lot of them have these vitamins and minerals that we need, you know, zinc, vitamin C, B vitamins, glutathione are in these plants. What is a dog rose? What does that even look like? Where does that grow? I've never even heard of it before. So it's rose hip seed. Oh, okay. So the, that's the um, Italian name. The oh, okay. Dog okay. Rose. I was like, dog rose? Never heard of that before. Yeah, rose hips full of vitamin C. Ah, yes, that I've heard. Okay. That makes sense. Um, oh man, I had a great question and I lost it. Oh no. Get into some of the anecdotal stories. Like I want to hear, like, tell me a story, Jen. I want to hear. Okay. So my, um, one of my friend's daughters was just learning to eat and she had an allergic reaction to something. So her mom called me in a panic. Oh my gosh, she's coughing. I'm afraid her, her throat's closing up. She has rashes. I have pictures of it. Cause I said, send me pictures after she was okay. Um, and so one drop of something called allergy lift, which is a complex, um, it's got black currant in it. It's got beech in it. Those are great for inflammation and for the allergic reaction and several other plants. One drop over a 45 minute period. So one drop every 15 minutes and her entire, everything cleaned up. She stopped coughing. So I've got the before picture with the rash everywhere. And then I have the after picture where she's like, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. um, so, so that's one. And, you know, actually we're working with a guy out in Oklahoma and he has terrible allergies and he's using that product. And he said, I used it. I was having sniffles and watery eyes and I used it. And 15 minutes later, I felt better. Like, is that possible? That sure is. So those are two great stories. And allergy lift is one of our, you know, our best, best, um, complexes. And just one other anecdotal story, which is my favorite is Dr. Canillo, who is our scientific director. And he actually discovered these 30 years ago in, in Italy. Um, he said, if you use a product like allergy lift, it's like taking um, allergy shots. So over time, you will build up immunity to whatever allergen is affecting you. Hmm. And so I sent some of these to my brother who lives in Japan and his wife is Japanese and she has been allergic to shrimp since she was nine. Hmm. And that's terrible for somebody in Japan, right? Because they eat fish and shrimp all the time. She's 41. So she said, what the heck? I'm going to try it. And so she took it for five months. And she had her annual appointment at her allergist's office. And he said, wait a minute, something's not right. And she said, what? And he said, you're not showing an allergy to shrimp anymore. And so she's been eating shrimp since then. <laughs> That's crazy. And that was over a year ago. So what Dr. Canelo had told me several years ago, actually, I was like, wow, it actually works. Interesting. So those are some of my favorite stories. That's absolutely amazing. What's possible out there in the world of, of health and wellness these days when you really focus on bolstering that immune system? Yeah, I think everything is possible. And I, you know, there's so much programming out there that says, oh, you know, you have an autoimmune, your body's fighting against itself. Um, you know, oh, your body has, uh, you know, disappointed you or let you down or betrayed you. I don't believe any of that crap. I think that's all BS and it's programming. I think that our bodies are designed to be healthy and whole, and that's what they're always striving for. And even something like getting a tumor with cancer, right? It's your body's way of protecting it from not going all over your body. Your body's containing it. Um, and so, you know, um, I, I think when your immune system is strong, you're clear, you've got um, clarity in your vision, clarity of purpose, your energy is strong, and you really, like, you're unlimited. You are absolutely unlimited. And so I think our bodies are always striving to come back into balance. And that's where plants thrive because you look at nature, right? One year there's a drought, the next year there's a flood and plants are always adapting. And so they're bringing that adaptive energy to us. And that's where we get out of balance because we get stuck in our ways, right? I like to drive the same way to the store every time. Instead of mixing it up, and I've learned a lot that that creates these grooves in our brain mm. 
mm. that are much almost like a record. It's much harder to change then. And so really it's about adaptability. And you think about the one constant in our lives is change. Life is always changing. We're always having things thrown at us. And so when the immune system is strong, we're strong and we can adapt and change and grow and become better versions of ourselves. Mic drop. <laughs> Beautifully put, my friend. You know, it was fascinating when I worked in the cannabis industry for a little while in sales. You know, I thought I was saving the world from cancer. And really, I found out the hard way that like 95% of the cannabis industry is retail driven, not medically driven. And I was kind of bummed. But it was fascinating to learn that we have an endocannabinoid system, right, that 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 syncs with these plants. These plants have the beneficial stuff for our endocannabinoid system. So it's been fascinating for me to, to learn how much we are in symbiosis with these plants. Like it's it's crazy. I never in, in a million years would have thought that. Yeah. Yeah. They are always communicating. I joke and I say they're actually our parents. They've been on this earth long before us. <laughs> and evolutionary and energetically and consciously, they are about 10 years ahead of us, which is a very interesting thing to understand. That's incredible. So, hey, this is the uh, shameless plug time of the show. So where can people find you and find more information about these products? Yeah. So nature-provides.com is our website. You can find out more of our story, more information about the plants and how they work. And uh, if you're interested in more information, info at nature-provides.com. If you don't have the hyphen, you're going to go to a store in the UK. So you need that little hyphen in there. And I was on a podcast about three years ago. And the guy said, I love that because think about a tombstone. It's the life that you lived before and after. So really that hyphen represents your life. Ooh, and so I said, that's a great way to think about it. Cause sometimes it annoys the heck out of me, but <laughs> I was wondering, there's gotta be some sort of a story in there. Cause I was writing it down right before we started in my notes. And I was like, huh, I wonder what's up with the hyphen, but yeah. So yeah, that's why, no. yeah, it was another magical thing um, that happened along this journey. So the, the word came in and we had to use them. So that's so amazing. Awesome. Well, make sure you also go visit wearenikki.com uh, forward slash podcast and enter in bio beats for 10% off. Uh, and because we love our customers so much, uh, a way for us to show our appreciation is we want to give away a Nikki on every episode. So make sure to go check out the show notes and find out details on how you can enter. Good luck to you. And thank you for joining me today, Jen and everybody else. Make sure you have a healthy day. I love you, Heather. Thank you. Thank you. My Nikki helps me sleep better at night and helps me feel less stressed. A better life. Guaranteed. If Nikki doesn't improve your wellness and sense of well-being in 30 days, send it back for a full refund. Free shipping, free platinum set of frequencies for life, 30-day money-back guarantee. Nikki. Be better. Do better. We are Nikki.com. Hi, my name is Stephanie. Um, I came to use the Nikki um, actually through my sister who was working uh, for the company at the time. And she had um, been speaking to me about the frequencies on there and how um, it had really helped with stress and anxiety and things like that. And and I had thought, well, I have stress and anxiety. Maybe this can help me too. And um, in addition to therapy and other things I was trying to do to help myself, I thought this might be an additional tool that, that would help me. Um, the nighttime um, frequency really helps me with my sleeping. Um, the pain frequency, um, I have some issues with my shoulders and that, that seem to have gotten a lot better. These things I knew nothing about when I got it. Um, so it kind of morphed for getting it for one reason and kind of helping with other things. I found actually the biggest benefit I found is I am prone to UTIs and um, I was always on medication, always going to the doctor, um, always getting them. And the first time I got one after I had the Nikki, I thought it has the viruses and bacteria. Let's try it. Well, since then, um, I've had it for over a year. I've had, normally would have about five to six UTIs in that time. I've had um, two that I've needed medication for and the rest, I feel it coming on. I put on my viruses and bacteria and within three, four days, it's completely gone. 
I don't have to have medication. I don't have to go to the doctor or do anything like that. So it's been in, in that way, life changing for me. The views, information, and opinions expressed in this content are solely those of the individuals involved and do not necessarily represent those of Free Medica. Free Medica Technologies, Inc. and its employees are not responsible, nor verifies accuracy any of the information contained in the following content. The primary purpose of this content is to educate and inform. This content does not constitute medical or other professional advice or services.